Another learning episode is about to transpire as we bring you the most exciting and fun-filled lesson presentation through television-based instruction. Welcome to TV Escuela, brought to you by DepEd Division of Davao de Oro in partnership with the provincial government through the Servicio Oro Mismo, our official media partner for our TV-based instruction. Join us as we journey towards providing quality education to all our learners in response to the continuing demands of the new normal education. Good afternoon, students. Mabuhay. How are you doing today? How was being with your family at home? Have you engaged with something worthwhile? I am very sure that you are enjoying your time while doing some activities at the comfort of your homes. Now, I'd like you to make sure that you are currently in your most comfortable positions with your noting essentials, and I want you to follow closely the flow of our discussion. Would that be all right? Great! I am teacher Given Hinampas, a special program in the art specialist, hailing all the way from Monte Vista National High School main campus, Monte Vista District. But you can call me Teacher Given and I will be your teacher for SPA Theater Arts Grade 9. Well, I believe you all have a very beautiful day at home while spending quality time with your family. Take advantage of that time to learn new things together, to embrace new hobbies, and of course, to strengthen your family ties while we are still contesting this pandemic. Make sure that you are all safe and always follow the minimum health protocols set by the government to ensure that everyone is in safe hands. I bet all of you are excited for today's lesson, aren't you? But first, please be guided with these points to consider to ensure that you are all with me while our class is ongoing. First, make sure that you have with you your noting essentials, like notebook and ball pen, and see to it that you follow closely the flow of our discussion. Second, you can jot down notes while I am discussing the lesson, and you may raise questions through our official online platforms. Your questions will be answered right after I am done with the lecture. Third, avoid doing unnecessary activities not related to our topic. Give your utmost focus and devote your time to our discussion. And finally, you can ask assistance to anyone at home if you have some concerns regarding the lesson. I am pretty sure your family members are so much willing to help you unlock some difficulties and they can also learn with you at the same time. Isn't that amazing? So now, get ready for we are going to start today's lesson. For today's episode, you are expected to identify different Philippine theater arts forms, such as, but not limited to, Comedia, Sarsuela, Sinaculo, Bodabil, Community Theater, and Experimental Theater. Apparently, you, SPA Theater Arts students at home, learned that theater is a branch of performing arts concerned with the presentation of plays and musicals. Its scope is worldwide and its influence is profound. The art of theater is concerned almost exclusively with live performance by actors in which the action is precisely planned to create a coherent and significant sense of drama 
in a time-space audience framework. There have been widely different opinions as to what the aim of theater should be. Some have viewed that theater is goal-oriented with a serious purpose, while others stressed theater as a medium of imparting entertainment. Either way, theater, in general term, is inclusive of all the elements that contribute to a performance of a dramatic nature. Now, I'd like you to focus on these videos that I am going to show you. I'd like you to examine closely these videos and try to describe them comprehensively based on what you observed. I will give you 5 seconds to think of your answers. Are you ready? Let's get it on! First video Kami versatile maging sa pagkanta Nagagaya namin ang style nila Tony Bennett Sugan, buhat sa soya beans, walang kulat pero... Kate, 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 kate. Second video. video.
the video shown to you are just some of the many forms of Philippine theater. And right now, we'll discuss them one by one. First off, the Comedia. The Comedia is a play written in verse which uses conventions of the marcha for exits and entrances, batalia for choreographed fighting, and magica or magical effects. At present, the Comedia may be divided into two principal types. The first, which may be called Comedia di Santo, centers on the lives of patron saints. The Comedia di Santo may derive its stories from the Awit and Curido, or metrical romances narrating the lives of saints, or from the hagiographies popularized by books or sermons, or from the stories of miracles attributed to certain saints. The second, our more secular type of Comedia, also known as Comedia, Moro Moro, Linambay, Colloquio, Arakio, Tibag, and Minoros, and may highlight the epic battles between Christian kingdoms in medieval Europe. It draws most of its stories, characters, and even lines from the Awit and Corrido set in medieval kingdoms which were published as libritos or pamphlets and sold together with prayer books outside Catholic churches on Sundays. Next, the Sarsuela. Remember the third video from our activity? That was an example of a sarsuela. Sarsuela is a play in prose with songs and dances containing from one to five acts, portraying Filipino types and situations within the framework of a love story and incorporating contemporary issues. Sarsuela may be created to depict lofty themes of love for country, to satirize the weaknesses of Filipinos, to attack social evils like usury, or to tell an entertaining love story. Take a look at this example. <laughs>
The third theater form in the Philippines is called the Sinaculo. One great example of that was the second video from our activity. The Sinaculo, or Passion Play, probably began as a dramatization of the events depicted in the first Passion, or the Holy Passion, in the year 1703 by Gaspar Aquino de Belen. By the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th, the Sinaculo became a formal play with sets and costumes performed by traveling commercial troops. A shorter form of Sinaculo focusing on the events from the agony in the garden to the crucifixion is usually presented on Good Friday morning and afternoon. I know you have been seeing presentations like this on television, especially during Semana Santa. Am I right? Fourth form is called the Bodabil. The first video from our activity is an example of a Bodabil. Vaudeville or Bodabil in the Philippines was a popular genre of entertainment in the Philippines from the 1910s until the mid-1960s. For decades, it competed with film, radio, and television as the dominant form of Filipino mass entertainment. It peaked in popularity during the Japanese occupation in the Philippines from 1941 to 1945. Many are the leading figures of Philippine film in the 20th century, such as Dolphy, Nora Honor, Leopoldo Salcedo, and Rogelio de la Rosa. All of them began their show business careers in Bodabil. Bodabil is an indigenized form of vaudeville, which had been introduced in the Philippines around the turn of the 20th century. It featured a hodgepodge of musical numbers, short form comedy, and dramatic skits, and even magic acts, often staged inside the theaters of Manila. Bodabil proved the vehicle for the popularization of musical trends and musicians, performance genres, and performers. Next, we have the community theater. Community theater refers to theatrical performance made in relation to particular communities. Its usage includes theater made by, with, and for a community. It may refer to theater that is made entirely by a community with no outside help or to collaboration between community members and professional theater artists or to performance made entirely by professionals that is addressed to a particular community. Community theater range in size from small groups led by single individuals that performed in borrowed spaces to large permanent companies with well-equipped facilities of their own. Many community theater are successful, non-profit businesses with a large active membership and often a full-time professional staff. Community theater is often devised and may draw on popular theatrical forms such as carnival, circus, and parades, as well as performance modes from commercial theater. Community theater is distinct from amateur theater, which, while it may be community-based, it is non-professional. And finally, we have the experimental theater. 
also known as avant-garde, it began in Western theater in the late 19th century. The term has shifted over time as the mainstream theater world has adopted many forms that were once considered radical. Experimental theater is trying something new. Like other forms of the avant-garde, it was created as a response to a perceived general cultural crisis. Despite different political and formal approaches, all avant-garde theater opposes bourgeois theater. It tries to introduce a different use of language and the body to change the mode of perception and to create a new, more active relation with the audience. Various forms of experimental theater are the following. First, problem play, which is usually about social discourse, and performance art, mostly original plays, written for literary contests or evolved through workshops or created for semi-professional companies, student drama organizations, and numerous community theater groups all over the country. Now that you know the different forms of Philippine theater, it's time to test your understanding. Based on the lesson, how would you describe the Philippine theater arts forms? What characteristics are different or common? Listen carefully to the definitions and descriptions that I am going to give you. And your task is to identify what form of Philippine theater arts am I describing. Write your answer on your paper. Are the instructions clear? Let's get started! Number 1 it refers to theatrical performance made in relation to particular communities. Its usage includes theater made by, with, and for a community. Again, it refers to theatrical performance made in relation to particular communities. Its usage includes theater made by, with, and for a community. Number two. It is a play written in verse which uses conventions of the marcha for exits and entrances, batalia or choreographed fighting, and magica or magical effects. Again, it is a play written in verse which uses conventions of the marcha for exits and entrances, batalia or choreographed fighting, and magica or magical effects. Number three. It is an indigenized form of vaudeville, which had been introduced in the Philippines around the turn of the 20th century. It featured a hodgepodge of musical numbers, short-form comedy and dramatic skits, and even magic acts often staged inside the theaters of Manila. I repeat, it is an indigenized form of vaudeville, which had been introduced in the Philippines around the turn of the 20th century. It featured a hodgepodge of musical numbers, short-form comedy, and dramatic skits, and even magic acts often staged inside the theaters of Manila. Number 4 Also known as Passion Play, which probably began as a dramatization of the events depicted in the first Passion. Its shorter form focuses on the events from the agony in the garden to the crucifixion is usually presented on Good Friday morning and afternoon. Again, 
also known as passion play, which probably began as a dramatization of the events depicted in the first passion. Its shorter form focuses on the events from the agony in the garden to the crucifixion and is usually presented on Good Friday morning and afternoon. And number five, it is a play in prose with songs and dances containing one to five acts, portraying Filipino types and situations within the framework of a love story and incorporating contemporary issues. I repeat, it is a play in prose with songs and dances containing from one to five acts, portraying Filipino types and situations within the framework of a love story and incorporating contemporary issues. I will give you 20 seconds to finish your task. Now on with your work! Good luck students! I know you can do it! And we are back here at TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral sama-sama. A while ago, I left something for you to work on. I asked you to identify the different Philippine theater arts forms by citing their differences and similarities. Now, let us try to check your answers. But please, be honest in checking your work. Are you ready? Number 1. Community Theater Number 2. Comedia Number 3. Bodabil Number 4. Sinacolo And Number 5. Sarsuela So what is your score? Put your score in our comment section. I am so excited to know your progress. All the forms of Philippine theater that we have discussed a while ago are all considered salient features of our country's artistic pursuit. As theater art students, your understanding on these will help you establish a strong theoretical background on theater and encourage creativity in forming a theater collective. And that ends our discussion about the different forms of Philippine theater arts. I hope that you find this lesson useful and substantial. In the next episode, we'll get to discuss more exciting lesson. Another fruitful day had passed and I'm so grateful for having you all. May all the inputs for today will be embarked in your minds and let us continue to see its relevance in real-life situations. That would be all for today, my dear students. I hope you find our session productive and fun. Stay tuned for our next lesson presentation and I can't wait to give you more in our next episode. This has been your teacher for today. I am teacher Given Hinampas from Monte Vista National High School Main Campus, Monte Vista District, saying, God bless everyone and stay safe. Dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!